Another aspect of chapter 6 is talking about the various ways that we can measure microbial growth. And since microbial growth generally represents an increase in the number of cells, when we're talking about cellular organisms like bacteria, uh, we can either measure the number of cells, and we can do that either in terms of the number of cells that are able to divide, or simply the number of cells that are present, um, which we can tell microscopically if we have enough of those cells around. That's the difference between a viable count, number of living cells, and a direct count, um, which is the, uh, the, just the number of cells, whether they're living or dead. Uh, we can also take advantage of the fact that two cells weigh more than one cell, uh, and therefore we can measure the increase in uh, the amount of cells in a culture uh, by actually weighing the cells. Typically what this involves is uh, removing the cells from the liquid that they're in and then drying out the cells and actually measuring those cells, so-called dry weight. Uh, also, the more cells that you have, uh, the greater their collective ability to scatter light. And what that means is, is that uh, each cell has a certain amount of fluid turbidity associated with it, the more cells you have present, the greater the cloudiness, the greater the turbidity of the culture. So with more cells, you're going to have an increase in the number of cells, an increase in the number of viable cells usually, uh, an increase in the total amount of mass that's associated with the cells as opposed to associated with the surrounding fluid, uh, and also uh, an increase in the turbidity of the culture. And these various ways of keeping track of what's going on in the culture allows us to keep track of microbial growth. And again, to, to finish up, we've got various kinds of inputs. They're acted upon metabolically, whether these things are, are chemical differences in the environment or physical differences in the environment. The organism has a certain metabolism, so different organisms are going to be able to act upon these things differently metabolically. This gives rise to outputs, whether it's waste or survival or growth or reproduction. And we can keep track of, especially growth of cultures, which is a combination of growth of the cells and reproduction of the cells, division of the cells, in various ways, uh, which for microorganisms usually means that we're keeping track of, it, of the number of cells that are present, and therefore microbial growth represents an increase in the number of cells.